and in flooded out home in Des Moines caught fire late Thursday night. It happened at this home at the corner of 37th Street and Easton Boulevard. Investigators believe it was arson. Local 5's Jacob Pecklow has more on the city's efforts to clear away the condemned homes. It has been more than five months now since Des Moines experienced that record flooding over the summer. I'm here along 37th Street where there were a number of houses that were all set to be destroyed. Unfortunately, the city was not able to get to one of those homes quite in time this week. There was no power, no gas, no utilities to the house. Um, fire investigators believe that it was intentionally set. In short, the fire department believes this call was the result of arson and urban mining. Everybody's wanting to get in there, try and get what they can out of it if there's anything left in there to salvage. So, yeah, they can be open targets, but the city's trying to uh, demolish them as fast as they are acquiring them. With the recent warmer weather, neighbors say the city has been making up for lost time in clearing these lots. They did it pretty fast since I've been over here. It was. They got them two houses down in a day and a half, so it was pretty fast. Every day or or two, they get a new house done uh, here on the on this block, and then they've been working next the next block over too. But the call wasn't just a nuisance for neighbors; it could have been even more dangerous if crews didn't get to it right away. You're risking people's lives um, anytime there's a fire like that, risking their own lives, setting a fire in there. Neighbors say the sooner the demolition work gets done, the better. It's nice to get some of the, the, I mean, the houses they ain't lived in out of here so you don't have people squatting in them and everything else. The city of Des Moines has determined the fire here was arson, but they have not determined exactly how the fire started. Reporting in Des Moines, Jacob Pecklow, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Investigators say they believe someone may have been trying to strip all of the copper out of the house before that fire started.